This is Rebecca Moore from the Overlake School. Today we're book talking Icebreaker by Leon Tanner. The child's face was beaten silver. His mind held the knowledge of 10,000 libraries. His fingers were so cunningly made that they could mend the broken bones in a kitten's paw. So far, every moment of his short life had been spent hiding from the anti-machinists who considered him as a demon. We are heading into a new dark age, said the professor who had created the child. I have built a ship for you, a ship that can sail for a hundred years and never have to come to port. I must keep you safe. You are my joy and the hope of the world. Well, 300 years later, the ship is still circling the South Pole, but no one on board remembers its original purpose. And no one really believes the ancient rumors of its sleeping captain. The people on the ship have split into three tribes who keep the ship running and have bloody battles between themselves in their free time. Petrel is a nothing girl. For no reason anyone has ever explained. She has no tribe and no one cares for her. Her only friends are two rather unusual talking rats who often patch her up after the kids from the other tribes have finished tormenting her. The only benefit is that she alone can roam the ship freely. And she is the only one who sees the boy on the iceberg. A stranger. And Petrel has never seen a stranger in her life. So it's really up to Petrel whether she lets the others know about him and saves his life. But then it's also her fault if he turns out to be more than he seems. Icebreaker by Leon Tanner.